Escape from Tarkov is a demanding game. By clicking on this video, you kind of already know that. You know how much it takes from you. Your time, your hard-earned rubles and gear and sometimes even your sense of self-control, your emotions. Why do we keep coming back? Is it because we ironically cannot escape Tarkov? Do we like the challenge or just love the struggle or maybe this pretentious world that we live in, it actually makes you feel something. Maybe we use it as a way of escaping real life or at least take a break from it, but it comes with a price that only some of us are willing to pay. The title of the game emphasizes extraction, escape, which when you fail, awakens all kinds of emotions and questions. Why am I dying all the time? Why can't I make money? Why is it so unfair? Why can't I escape this game? Hopefully, after this video, you won't care because it won't matter. Alright guys, welcome back to another Escape from Tarkov videos. I do not make a lot of these guides or videos, but I started thinking about something that I kind of practice in real life and I started applying it to Tarkov. And to be honest, this makes things so much more sensible, so much more enjoyable. As we go through the content and this video together, I'll interrupt the gameplay to touch on a couple of stoic principles with the hope of, you know, tying them all together in the context of this game and uh, to some extent your state of mind when you're playing it and how it applies to that. Before we can do that, we kind of need to first understand what it means to be stoic, you know, the stoic philosophy. What does it all mean? You know, in layman's terms, it's defined as someone who can endure pain or hardship, adversity, etc. without showing f their feelings or complaining about it. So the fact that you already play this game means that you already have stoic characteristics embedded within who you are, regardless. I to mentally adopt it in the way I play and I have been recently and today I'm going to show you how I've applied it. Embedded within the Stoic philosophy are specific principles, of course, which I break down in this video as I fail and fail again, only to eventually succeed. We're doing a task, we're trying to combine two. One, we have to mark the ambulances, and the other one, where we have to shoot scavs in the face. That must have been a shot without question. That must have been a headshot too, but there's another one here somewhere. Let's just check the quest quickly. Um, spot tour. <laughs> All three headshots, beautiful. So here, immediately you're on a high, the adrenaline's pumping, but three out of three shots, headshots, and all the confidence has built up. But we need to find more scabs. So we run up a hill, and we see that new scabs have spawned, thinking that this could be a good time to get more of the quest done. I can possibly, in theory, finish this quest right now. Holy shit! Jeez. <sighs> well, we got <laughs> we got four scout kills. We got it. Dude, that scared the shit out of me. I thought, you know, maybe I'll sneak up on him. You know what I mean? Mm -mm. No. Destroyed. Immediately. Amor Fati is all about accepting your fate. Accepting things exactly the way they are. The good, the bad. And acknowledging that it is part of life. 
good things happen to us, bad things happen to us. We sometimes have unfortunate circumstances or unfortunate events, which just happened in the previous clip. Now, I could have sucked and I could have been upset that, you know, I lost some gear and I couldn't get my quest done faster than I wanted to. But rather than doing that, I reflected on it, know that these calves are Einstein's descendants and that effectively we need to adjust for this in the next raid. In this clip, we do better. We actually get some of our tasks done, which is the whole point of this. Bad things will happen. Accept it. Because with that, you go into the raid with a positive mindset, you're ready to go, you're focused, and you're increasing the probability of the success in the next run. In this clip, we are successful. We finish some of our tasks and we move on. I think there's another one. There was another one. After the success of the previous raid, we decided to jump back in and this time try and mark the second ambulance and potentially also hit up another scav. But we run into a player. This one, I just heard that. Yeah, I heard something here as well. Now, I have to admit, that was painful. I really thought that this was going to be the raid, right? This is the one where I'm going to complete this task and have a successful experience. But that didn't happen. So, instead of sulking though, applying Amor Fati, I was at least trying to be grateful for what I could get out, which was a water filter, actually, and not a water cooler. But it's something that I'm going to use in the future. Okay, at least we've got a water cooler. <laughs> At least, after accepting my defeat for what it was, we got back in and we used a shotgun that didn't even have a sight. I tried something new, it obviously didn't work out, but I wasn't going to waste my rubles. We're going to go in regardless, because at this point in time, we don't care. We're in a positive mindset still, because we accept everything for just exactly how it happens. We learn from it, we move on. However, as you expect, I get into this raid, positive, ready, good to go. And again, run into a duo. Now, of course, you can tell the frustration is starting to build, but rather than calling myself a bot, which I was in that situation, I took the best out of that as well and reminded myself what I would have done differently if I knew the situation was coming. Well, I'm going to call it progress. But I couldn't switch my damn weapon. Why didn't I switch my damn weapon properly? I should have repositioned. I didn't have to worry. I didn't have to worry about that guy for now. Could have repositioned, reloaded, gone to a better spot. Problem solved. Memento Mori works really well with the Morfati. Morfati reminds us that, you know, we need to accept everything the way it is because if we're not in control of something, there's nothing we can really do about it. Accepting our fate, the good, the bad, remain in a positive mindset. Memento Mori seems a bit more morbid and just reminding you that your life here on Earth is temporary and so is when you apply it to Tarkov in Tarkov. The difference is that you can actually respawn in Tarkov where in real life you're pretty much gone. It reminds us that all the materialistic things in real life we have will eventually be passed to someone else, our descendants. 
you know, someone that will inherit it. And in the case of Tarkov, someone else, another player, a player scav, will eventually get that nice hardcore outfit that you put on and that loadout that you put together to go into raid. The point I'm trying to make here is that you will die in Tarkov. You will die a lot. And the only way, luckily for us, playing this game, the only way for us to absolutely die is if we never start up the game again. Because if you keep going and you keep trying and you keep learning from your mistakes and you apply these principles and you stay in a positive mindset, you will eventually succeed, which after five or six raids for me happened in the clip to follow. I'll snip it up a bit so that it's not as long, but in summary, we got into the ambulance, we marked it, decided to go after scavs, and then we looted a specific box and got a very valuable item, which I think I've only pretty much looted three of those in my two wipes of Tarkov. In the end, it pays off. It's worth it. If you accept that Tarkov is a difficult game, it's going to be easier. If you accept that you're going to die a lot, it's going to be easier, and you're going to ex appreciate the the moment. You're going to appreciate the journey towards achieving what you're trying to achieve. And by doing that, it just makes the overall experience even so much more worth it, regardless of where you want to be or what level you are or what you're trying to achieve. By just going in each raid and enjoying each one for what it is, a difficult game that requires you to think on your feet and accepting whatever happens, good or bad. It just makes the entire experience so much more worth it. Let's get into this clip, and then I'll give you some final remarks at the end. Fuck it, I'm gonna go for these scavs now. So if I stop playing after the first, second, third, fourth, or even fifth failure, I never would have gotten to this point. This Latex is roughly 800,000 on the flea when I checked, which means that it is probably twice or even three times what I've lost during my failures. If I stopped, this never would have happened. But that's not the end of it. I still need a scav kill. What? Good. Quest done. Success. So, not only did we finish both tasks after numerous tries, we also got a Letix out of it, and we extracted safely. If I just quit after the first or the second time I didn't succeed, None of this would have happened, which is kind of the point of this video. An additional point is that if you accept things exactly the way they are, without worrying too much about things that's not really yours anyway within a video game, which, let's be honest, doesn't even matter, just makes the entire experience so much better. It puts you in a positive mindset and opens up your mind to learn from your mistakes, which is what this is all about. The only way you can be a failure in this game is if you stop playing. No one can tell you how you should play it, and no one should. It's none of their business. Play the game the way you want, 
make tactical decisions. If you really want to improve, accept that it's going to be hard and push through. It will eventually make a difference. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, drop a like. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy this kind of content, which I don't necessarily make all the time, full disclaimer, hit the sub button. And I hope to see you guys in a live stream sometime soon. Have a good weekend. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.